good? This is your girl and the bronze goddess. And I'm actually here today to do a pretty massive Dollar Tree haul. I think it is clear at this point that I am addicted to the Dollar Tree. I can't seem to stay out of there. So I have went ham and cheese <laughs> on this particular video, but I got a lot of really cute fun, so I couldn't wait to share with you guys. Let's go ahead and get started with today's video. The, the, it's all over the place, and I'm, I'm not sure what I'm going to pull out of each bag. So I try to normally group it into categories, but this time, honey, we're just going to go for a regular old free-for-all. All right, so first up is this bag right here, which is next to me. Okay, and this actually has glass in it. Y'all know, I always tell you guys, one of my favorite places to go in the Dollar Tree is their glassware area. Look at these cute glasses that I found. How cute are these? I just love this detail at the bottom. Now, they're a little dusty because they haven't been through the dishwasher yet. But as I told you guys in my previous video, for some reason, my kids keep breaking my glasses. They keep dropping them and stuff. So, I don't want to pay a lot of money for glasses because I feel like, you know, how long are they going to last in my house? So, <laughs> I got these and they're really, really pretty. My daughters actually really love them. My uh, four-year-old was like, it's crisp. I'm like, no, it's not crystal, but um, it, it looks like it. It, it might could be. <laughs> but anyway, these were a buck a piece, and I ended up getting six of them. When I was in the Dollar Tree, I found quite a few things that I'm going to be using for my Christmas tablescape. So you'll see a couple of those pieces. And of course, I will share with you the vision that I have. So one of those things, well, two of those things that I found are these. I got some garland. I needed some swag for down the middle of the table, so I'm going to actually make it with this. So I'm going to be um, using this down my table to kind of make it a nice little arrangement. So I'm using this to kind of make my own kind of swag for the table. And then I needed, to, I wanted to use gold Christmas trees uh, on my tablescape. So I want these to actually got another one. I got two of these now because I want them to be on my table because I want it to be lots of pops of gold on my table. And then I also got these. Now this was a really cute find. I thought these were just adorable. They, they're actually little pins. You can like stick them in different things or whatever um, to add a little bit of a decorative touch. But what I liked about these is they actually are made, they have like wire around them so they bend and I actually want to use these as napkin ring holders. I've been looking for really cute, festive, inexpensive ones and these are at the Dollar Tree but there were two for a dollar. So I thought these would be really cute to put around the napkins on my, my little tablescape. So that's what these are for. They're going to be like little napkin rings and they bend. They're going to wrap around perfectly. I have about five of these for my different uh, place settings. And then let's go with this box. Oh, this bag right here. I also got these right here. And these are little gold. They look like little, um, like, photo ornaments. You can, like, pop this out and put a picture of your family members and use these as ornaments. But I'm actually going to be using these as, like, placeholders. I'm going to pop these bad boys out and I'm going to write our names on them. And then I'm going to have them as placeholders. So I got me some permanent marker, Sharpie type markers to use on these. And I'm going to use these as placeholders for my tablescape. And then I also got two of these. I got these big huge long white candles. I thought they would look good on my table. And of course these were a buck a piece. And they're just plain white candles, no words on them or nothing like that. I'm just going to pop them on there next to the floral arrangements and all of that and have it be a part of my tablescape. So that's why I got these. All right, so next up in this bag right here, I got a lot of just gift bags and stuff like that. I love getting like gift bags and wrapping paper and stuff like that from the Dollar Tree. And I'm being so lazy this year. I really don't want to wrap anything. I don't know what's up with me, but I don't want to wrap anything. I just want to put everything in cute boxes and gift bags. So I got some cute ones and I got this one right here. This one just says um, joy to the world. I thought this was really pretty. I got this one and then I also got this next one right here, which is kind of tangled up here. <laughs> this next one right here just says Merry Christmas. You see, it's really pretty little gift bag with the little pine cones and the holly and all that. And this one just looks like a big present. And then I really like this one. This one's very unique and it reminds me of my black and white chalkboard in my kitchen. It just says happy holidays. And I love the non-traditional colors that it has on here. And then I got these little mini gift bags as well. This just says holly, holly jolly on this one. And, then the, and the back one, it's actually two for one. Here's the back one right there, another little mini bag. And then I got some clothing items for my niece and my nephews, the little sweaters and stuff like that. They had a crazy sale at Oshkosh for gosh this weekend, just FYI. It was crazy, okay? But I got them some really cute things out of Oshkosh for gosh. So I have these little boxes that have like little decorative boxes, again, so I don't have to wrap anything. I can just put it in there. And then I have some tissue paper to go in there. 
And then I found this little cookbook, which I thought was really nice. This is a holiday cookbook, but it's not just holiday recipes in here. They have really good recipes for like um, brownies and trail mix and just homemade graham crackers and just all kind of really good stuff. Chili and stir fries and buffalo chicken soup. Like a bunch of different recipes. And they also have like arts and crafts and activities and stuff. My kids are going to be out of school for like two weeks. So I can, eat, I can use all the help with keeping them busy that I can. So I thought we could do some baking things and maybe do some little you know arts and crafts and stuff like that so I got this little book of activities and then I couldn't resist this cute little teddy bear it's like super duper soft it's called it's from fuzzy friend and it's ridiculously soft I thought I would give this to my little uh, my one-year-old niece I also got her this cute Oshkosh Bagosh um, jacket girl the jacket retail for $50 how come I got it for $15 I'm gonna give her that jacket and this little teddy bear, and I'm gonna call it a day. I'm gonna call it a day, darling. <laughs> and then I also got some candles. Just got some red candles to go with my tablescape. Just some simple red candles. And then, also, really quickly, that has to do with like wrapping. Look at this. Okay, look at this. How cute is this? And look at this part. You can lift the flag like a little mailbox on it. How cute. And I've already taken the liberty of filling it. This is actually going to be for my oldest daughter's teacher. So in here, you'll have this right here. This is where her teacher is going to get. This little holiday coffee mug I actually got from the Dollar Tree in a few uh, previous haul. Super cute. And then right here inside the coffee mug is for Starbucks. And I'm going to have my daughter sign it. But it just says, like, Merry Christmas. It's a gift card for Starbucks. So I got that for her. And then also in this little mailbox, you'll find this, which I got from the Dollar Tree today. It's this cute little bound notebook that says smile on it. But it's a cute little notebook. I like how it's packaged. This is what our teacher's going to get. How cute is this? You don't have to wrap it or anything. You just I like the idea of putting it in a little mailbox. Ah! I'm still going to put it in a gift bag and everything, but I thought it was adorable. So if you don't like wrapping, like I don't feel like wrapping, try the gift boxes and the little mailboxes and all of that from the Dollar Tree. And then, where am I going to go next? I'm going to go here next. Okay, so I also got some candies. I got the Russell Stover's Chocolate Caramels because I really, really love these. I've had these like a couple of times before and I love them every time. I love caramel, so I have these. And then I got these Werther's Originals because they remind me of my grandma. And these are really good. I like these. We used to sneak these when, and eat these in church when I was a little kid. So I have those. And then I also picked these up. This is the Welcher's Mixed Fruit Fruit Snacks. It says the first ingredient is fruit. It has 100% vitamin C and vitamin A and E. It also has fat-free, gluten-free, no preservatives, and, and made with more real fruit. So I thought that was awesome because my daughter, my nine-year-old, has to take a snack to school every day. And I thought it was a really cute snack to take. Four comes in a little pack, so she can always take one of these uh, for a snack. And then up next, I thought also for another project, I got this bag right here. Now this bag has four mugs in it. And I wanted the most plain, simplest mugs that they had for a reason. I got these mugs right here. Now I got these because I want to use that permanent Sharpie that I had and I want us to draw on them or I want us to paint on them. I actually have like a lot of paint that I have. I want us to like do little arts and crafts on this, put this in the oven, bake it, and then let that be our own personalized mug. I thought my daughters could do one for my husband as a Christmas gift. I thought he would think that would be really cute and I would make him keep it on his desk at work. <laughs> of these again because we're all going to be off for like two weeks and we're going to need stuff to do so one day we're going to be doing this as a little family arts and crafts project and then what else do I have well this is super cute right here so I also got these which I'm surprised to find like normally if you guys watch my videos whenever I do close-ups of different products you'll see like this cute little vase this mercury glass vase burning in the background they have these cute little mercury glass candle candle holders I love mercury glass. I love watching the light flicker inside them. So I got these two bad boys in silver. And then I also got, to go with these, I got the little um, flameless light or whatever you call these things. And I'm going to put these little flames inside and just have these like flicker. I love the way that they look inside the little mercury glass. And this is a really cute find for a dollar. You can't go wrong with that. 
And then, of course, the last time I showed you guys um, an iPad case, I actually got the wrong one. It was for iPad Air, and we have an iPad. So I had to go and actually exchange that for this one. And this is the correct one. This is for iPad 2, uh, second, third, and fourth generation. It's a regular iPad case. Can't go iPad case for a dollar. And it's the pink and white chevron. So I like this, of course. And then I also got another puzzle from my daughter Kaya, and it's in this pink and white Mickey Mouse theme because her room is pink and white Mickey Mouse. Her room looks just like this. Lots of pink and white, lots of polka dots, and lots of Minnie Mouse. So I got her another puzzle because I can't go to Dollar Tree without getting her one. Alright, so last but certainly not least is this book right here, which retails for $16.95. This is the third time I've been lucky in the literary section at the Dollar Tree. And this one is called Lose 10 Pounds in Two Weeks. I started thumbing through this book and I found so much great information I had to buy it. They have everything in here from like nice little workouts with demos and stuff like that to help you lose the weight which is awesome. It also has my favorite part. It has like a fitness journal in the back so you, so you can kind of get an idea for what you're eating and how many calories that is. Oftentimes we're not accountable for what we eat but what I really like the best is that they have a good option and a bad option for just about every restaurant that you can find. Red Lobster, Ruby Tuesdays, Round Table, Pizza Hut, Popeyes. Like it tells you all these different places. Fire, Firehouse Sub, Dunkin Donuts. For example, right here with the Dunkin' Donuts, the good option would be to get a hazelnut coffee, egg white and cheese wake up wrap, and maybe a sugar donut. That totals 350 calories. Your bad option would be to get a vanilla bean colade, a sausage egg cheese croissant, and a blueberry crum crumble donut, and that's 1760 as far as calories. Like, it breaks it down for all these different restaurants that you can go to to give you a healthier alternative for everything, even like the Annie's. Is that the pretzel shop? I mean, all kinds of stuff in here. So I'm excited about really reading this book. Now that's pretty much it for my haul. As you guys can see, I went crazy in the Dollar Tree, but I spent like $27, so you really can't. I can't go wrong. So let me tell you guys the things that I thought were my favorites. Definitely this book. I feel like I'm definitely going to enjoy this one. It's going to be a good read. And also I love the iPad case. Can't go wrong with that. I love the little mercury glass candle holders because I think styled properly, they're not going to look like they're a dollar a piece. And then lastly, I have to say the glasses that I got for my kitchen because they look a lot more expensive than they really were as well. Anyway, let me know in the comment section which of these items were your favorite and what's your favorite thing to get from the Dollar Tree. And I'm not sure when, uh, which order I'm posting these videos up, but if I have already posted my home decor haul, be sure to check that video out as well, alright? I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Till next time, later divas and dudes. Jesus, honey.